Iranians, and especially young Iranians, have taken the streets to express their anger, their aspirations for a better future. The regime in Tehran has maneuvered itself into a dead end. We as European Parliament stand in solidarity with the brave women and men and all their democratic aspirations in their fight for women's human and minority rights. Nobody mentions that Amini was a Kurdish or that the most brutal repression in this crisis is happening in Kurdistan. These links remain hidden because they expose uncomfortable contradictions like defending Kurdistan is difficult if one wants to be friends with Turkey. Right now, Iranian, Kurdish, Baluch and many other groups, especially the women and young, shout the day of the regime are numbered. The women who are now rising up against the Islamic brutality in Iran know what freedom is and why we must protect it. The stories emerging are really totally unacceptable. They are dreadful and I urge the High Representative to do everything in his power to take action. The women of Iran, your courage is that breathtaking. As you rise up against injustice, as you dare to defy the oppressive regime, you inspire the fight for women's rights everywhere. This is about basic freedom. This is about a regime founded on systematic oppression and cruelty against its people. Therefore, Mr. Well, if you don't want to go to hell, and I think you don't want to go to hell, I really urge you target directly the leaders and people who are responsible for these crimes. Let's never give up on women, the life and the liberty in Iran. They need our help. I recommend to you a song called Barai by Sherwin Hajpur, whose lyrics are put together from messages sent by protesters. Let by brave women, a protest movement that has come together and that can change not only Iran, but the whole region and eventually the whole world, with a force and determination that is unprecedented. And we strongly condemn the compulsory hijab law. We condemn the morality police and we condemn the brutal repression and violence. But words are not enough. I call on the EU and the rest of the world to take action. Actions do speak louder than words. We, as politicians from other parts of the world, have to show the Iranian government that we will not accept their crimes against their own citizens. Please, Mr. Burrell, surprise us pleasantly and do something. I call upon you to immediately take steps to designate the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as what it is, namely a terrorist organization. Women in Iran are fighting for their fundamental rights, their freedom. They rebel against the dictatorship of men who imprison them, bully them, torture them, limit their lives simply because they are women and want to live in equality. Until the women of Iran are free, we are going to stand with you. Jian, Jian, Azadi, women, life, freedom. Zan Zendegi Azadi. Zan Zendegi Azadi. Zan Zendegi Azadi. Femme, liberté, 